Good afternoon, my dear students. How are you this afternoon? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Is it raining out there? Is it raining? Está lloviendo por ahí? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's okay. raining here in my house. But I hope that we don't have problems, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let me show you the activities that I have prepared for you this afternoon for our English class. Okay. So let's see. We have WH questions and placement of adjectives. So today we're going to learn where we put the adjective before and after the noun. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn today. And today is Monday, September 19th, 2022. We had a very long vacation, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so I hope that you remember what we studied the last class and that you have been doing the exercises, okay? So this is our class number eight. Let me show you the objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn placement of adjectives, particularly you will learn the plus adjective and adjective plus now. Okay, and the activities in our agenda. The first activity is recalling previous class. This is an activity for you to refresh your memory. Activity two, WH questions, it's a review. Activity three, placement of adjectives, and we have the wrap up. So uh, in this moment, I will take the attendance okay so please say present or here okay that's it's important that you say present or here. give me a moment give me a moment please i mean i don't know why i have this problem mm -hmm. well Please say present or here. Let's start with Daniel Quintanilla. No? Give me a moment, guys. I don't know why I can't access it. Okay, so Daniel, not here. Uh, Daniela Magali Asensio. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Okay. Next person is Delmi Arely Oliva. Present, please. Esmeralda Elizabeth Oliva. Gabriela Abigail Arriaza. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura. Jocelyn Gabriela Martínez Martínez. Present. Thank you, Jocelyn. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Okay. Thank you. Jose Vidal Vázquez Benjiva. Karen Elizabeth García. Present. Thank you, Karen. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala Arias. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Okay. Eh, Mayra Arely Méndez Portillo. Ninian Elizabeth León. Present. Thank you. Victoria Ingrid Leal de Contreras. Present, teacher. 
Casma. Thank you. <laughs> Jancy Melanie Montes de Melendez. Present. Thank you. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Okay. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we have only 12 students this afternoon. Wow. Oh, Vidal is here. I didn't hear you say present, Vidal. Okay, present. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so let's continue with our class. In the activity number one, we have guess the job, okay? So in this activity, um, I will show you some short descriptions of jobs, people's jobs. And you have to tell me what the job is. You have to guess the job, okay? So uh, it, this is the example. This person works outside and drives a vehicle. He or she transport people from one point to another and, and stops in different places along the way. So what's the job? Is a uh, gente de tránsito. Try again. Okay, remember, this person works outside. Conductor? Conductor, perdón? Motorista? Yeah, and how do you say that in English? I don't know. <laughs> he or she transport people from one point to another and it stops um, at different places along the way. Bus driver, yes, that's correct. It's a bus driver. Jonathan, we can hardly hear you. We hear you very far, far, far away. So maybe you can turn up the volume or I don't know what's going on there, but we can hear you but very low. Okay, so yes, it's a bus driver. So now I am going to share with you a, a website a website with uh, more exercises like this, we are going to do it together, okay? We are going to do it together. Okay. We share the screen. Okay, I need volunteers to read. For example, guess the job. Uh, number one, they take care of animals. So you can see the different occupations and, of, and uh, professions. Bet. Bet. Okay, bet, exactly. They take care of animals, okay. She puts out fires. She puts our fires. Fire fire? Firefighter, yes, it's okay. correct. They take care of people when they are sick. They take care of people when they- Doctors. Are sick. Doctors. Exactly, doctors. They sing on a stage. They sing on a stage. Singers. Exactly, the singers. Okay, they sing. Oops. Give me a moment. <laughs> Se quieren quedar por aquí. No, they don't want. <laughs> okay. 
nothing. We have a problem here. Okay, and she puts out the fires. And now firefighter is a problem. <laughs> okay, uh, next, he directs films. He directs films. Actor or film director? Film director, exactly, because he directs. He directs films. <laughs> We have to. They fight crime. They fight crime. Police officers. Officers. Exactly. The police officers. They fight crime. Okay. He repairs shoes and bags. He repairs shoes and bags. Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Shoemaker, exactly. It's the shoemaker. <laughs> okay. He grows plants. He grows plants. Farmer. 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 Tomatoes, bananas, green peppers. They take photos. They take photos. Photographers? Photographers. 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 Okay. Pause. Oh, he delivers letters. Postman? Exactly. The postman. The postman, right? And, well, the last one. We have two films, right? Here he directs, directs films and also. Okay. So let's check now. And we're missing this one, but they were correct. Excellent. I have another exercise, but this exercise, I will send it to you so that you can do it. Okay. So in a moment, you will receive the, the link to do this exercise. Okay. You will receive it both on WhatsApp and also on the, uh, via Zoom. So you choose where you can do it, okay? If it's better for you to do it via WhatsApp on your cell phone, or if you can do it here via Zoom, okay? And the exercise, um, see the exercise is this. No, is this? <laughs> is this exercise? What do you call a person who? Okay, so first in the first part it says write in ABC order. So it means that uh, the alphabet order. So for example, we have first artist, you write artist or artist. Letter B, ah, then we have. Actually, artist will be number two because we have architect first and it's A R C, right? Architect. Architect, artist. What is next? Carpenter. Carpenter. Exactly. Okay, so do the exercise, please. Continue doing it. Please continue with the exercise. And then it says, guess a profession, write the word. Don't forget about articles uh, on and. And it's because when we talk about professions, we need the article. For example, we say, it's a person who designs buildings. Oh, so that is an architect. An architect is a person who designs buildings. Why do I use an? For sounds? Architect starts with vowel sound A, right? An architect. Exactly. If not, we would say an architect, and that doesn't sound well. So it's an architect. 
is a person who designs buildings. A person who made things from wood. wood. What do you call a person? What do you call a person who makes things from wood? Like in this picture. Wood, madera. What do you call a person who makes things from wood? Carpenter. 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 Okay. And please, you continue. You continue writing. Somebody has read. Someone, someone. Mi amor, ¿alguien tiene el micrófono encendido y escuchamos a sus compañeras o familiares platicar? Ok, and you continue, and number three, you write your own sentences. For example, over here you can say, she is a reporter, ok. Over here, she is a singer, ok. And you continue, right? He or she, he or she is a, ok. So please do the exercise, and when you finish, you send the screenshot. So I will leave you working in this exercise. When you finish, please say, teacher, I finished. Okay, Jonathan, maybe you, um, are you using your cell phone or your computer? It's better to do it in, okay, if you are connected via Zoom with your computer, you can do the exercise in your cell phone or in your computer. But if you are using your cell phone for the class, it's going to be difficult for you to charge or load the website. En el celular si me cargo, voy a hacerlo ahí. Okay, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, vamos a ver quiénes ya están de los que mencioné al principio y no estaban cuando pasé lista. Daniel Quintanilla. Present coach, sorry. For be learning. I to okay. Esmeralda Oliva. Gabriela Abigail Arriaza. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura. Quizás se les olvidó que había clase hoy. <laughs> Margarita Panameño. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Mayra Lenín Méndez. It's not in the class. Oh, Margarita, ahí está. Yo. Uh -huh. Yo, Mayra. Thank you. Teacher, y a ese link que ha enviado hay que ponerle nombre y apellido y todo eso, lo que pide ahí. No, cuando usted termine, solo no le dé enviar a su profesor, solo dele comprobar respuestas. Solo comprobar respuestas. Check answers. Check my answers. Pero ahí no me sale nada, solo me sale uno. Añadir a mis cuadernos, dice, insertar en mi web o blog. Ah, 
Ah, ok. Hágale hacia, hacia abajo. Scroll down. You Enlaza a esta ficha. No, hágale, el ejercicio está más abajo. Ya no me deja bajar. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ya la ya. Gracias. Okay. Ficha. Sí. En la segunda parte, ¿tenemos que usar las mismas palabras que ordenamos en la primera o podría ser cualquier otra profesión? Eh, me parece que son las mismas que están al inicio. Thank you, Ficha. Teacher. Yes. Este. Y este en una dice es una persona que trabaja en una biblioteca. Este es un bibliotecario, se podría poner. Yes, librarian. Ah, ok, gracias. Ah, esa sí no está ahí. Are you finished? We have the first person. Okay, a person who works in a library is a librarian. It's not there. And a person who looks after people's health is a doctor. Okay, and the first is just a reporter. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. I hope you can finish soon. <laughs> and if not, if you cannot finish in this moment, you can finish later after the class. Okay, so we're going to continue with the class. Okay, so in activity two, we have a conversation. He works in a hotel. We have a conversation between Rachel and Angela. I would like two volunteers to read out the conversation. So I need two volunteers, only two volunteers. You can raise your hand. Catherine Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rachel and Victoria, okay? Rachel, yo? Rachel is Catherine and Catherine? Victoria. Angela. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. To his a front dick agent, as I just who doesn't he like? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Atlanta. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do what do he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you for your participation. Okay, excellent. Okay, so in this conversation, they are talking. Who are they talking to? What is the topic of the conversation? El trabajo, el nuevo trabajo de su hermano. ¿Dónde está trabajando su hermano? Okay, so his brother, her brother's work. Her brother's work, job, right? Her brother is about her brother. Um, Angela's brother, right? Where does he work? Where does Angela's brother work? In a hotel. A hotel, exactly. And what does he do at the hotel? Plaza. The what plaza? does he do at the hotel? What is his function oh. or his position at the hotel? Manager. This agent. Um, okay, Angela's brother. Angela's brother. Agent? Yes, yes Angela's agent. brother is the manager. And Rachel's brother also works in the hotel. What is, what does Rachel's brother do? It takes agent. He's a front desk, exactly, the front desk agent, right? And does she like it? Does she like, does he like his job? Does Angela's brother like his job? Or I'm sorry, Rachel's brother. He don't like. He doesn't like it, right? He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the manager. Who is the manager? The other girl's brother, right? <laughs> so that was a very, wow. They were like, ah, oops. <laughs> they work in the same, in the same hotel, right? So here you can find uh, many question words, information, information questions for example where does your brother work how does he like it 
¿Cuánto le gusta? ¿eh? What hotel does he work for? ¿En qué hotel trabaja? ¿Para qué hotel trabaja él? What hotel does he work for? What does he do? What does he do? Okay. So we can find different, different WH questions. What I want you to do in this moment is that I will send you into rooms and you are going to talk about one person in your family or friend and you are going to ask questions about that, about that person. Okay, for example, your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend. What does she do or what does he do? What do you do or what do your brothers do? Okay, where does your sister work? When does she start work? It means what time or when does she start work? How does she get to work if it's your sister? What activities does she do at work? How often does she have vacation? How does she like her job? So we have these questions and you have to practice, ask and answer the questions, okay? So I will send you into groups and I will send you the questions too. Okay, but, um, but first I will create the groups Please participate and practice with your partners because it's important that you can have someone to practice your English. So remember English, English, English. Go ahead. I will send you the questions, don't worry. Hola Margarita, buenas tardes. Ahí está. Aquí están las preguntas. Por lo menos Elizabeth. Eh, what do you do? What do you what do your brother do? Um, no have brother. Oh, oh. you don't have uh, <laughs> What do you do? Um, sorry, what do you do? Um, okay. <laughs> Se me olvidó la palabra. 
Uh, yeah, a house equals what? A house. A uh, house what? Okay. Um, what mm -hmm. do you do? Um, I am a, I'm a fireman. Hola. Yes. I am a fireman. Um, in my day free, I am worrying my business. Oh, sí, my business. Correct. Only. Uh, uh, you have you have sister or brother? Uh, I have sister. I one sister. I have one brother. Uh, your brother? What what does it your brother? Uh, my brother. Eh, yo bien. Ay, ¿cómo no es esto? Ay. Ni siquiera me oyó lo que. Ya salimos de la sala, creo. Vaya, pues, Dios. I am here. I am checking what you are doing. Ah, hola, teacher. No, <laughs> Ok, bueno. escuchó que ahí estábamos ahí, que no, no, no nos había escuchado, no entendimos lo que dijo, las dos exactamente, es que nos está fallando el inter. Ah, ok, I send the questions in WhatsApp, you have to practice those questions, ask and answer, ask and answer, van a preguntar y responder esas preguntas, about your family, you, those are WH questions. Okay, teacher. Okay, I want to listen. I want to listen. That's why I'm here. I want to listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, Margarita and Jeremy. Espérame, teacher, que no, no tenía el teléfono aquí a la mano. Okay. Okay, please practice, okay? I will check another group. Okay, okay. Hi. How is it going? Hi. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo puedo decir, teacher? To work. Can you repeat, Jancy? We couldn't hear you. No, no, no se le escucha. Nada, nada. No sé si es eso. O... Hola, hola. Hoy oh, sí, hoy oh, sí. Diga. Oh, sí. How does... <laughs> Solo la escuché, how does... La pregunta que usted nos mandó. Ajá. Get to work. Ajá. How does she get to work? Ok, X... Uh, she drives a car, she takes the bus, she uh, rides a motorcycle, or she rides a bike, or she walks to work. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, remember to practice the question with your partner. This is the opportunity you have to speak.
No sé si yo le digo una que tengo. Ok. Eh, she works in the school. Ok, where does your sister work? She yes. Cool, ok. La dinámica es así. Usted le iba a preguntar a Katrin y a Vidal. Ah, ok. Le preguntaba a usted y usted a Vidal. Vidal a Katrin, Katrin a usted, usted a Vidal, así. Ok. Le voy a dar dos minutos más para que practiquen así. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, Jocelyn and Delmi. Hello, teacher. Did you practice? Did you ask and answer the question? Yes, it's difficult. It's difficult? I understand the question. What is difficult? ¿Qué es difícil? Eh, tratar. Bueno, quizás es mi internet que está fallando, ¿verdad? Porque por ratitos no les escucho. No lo escuché del mí. Eh, le digo que cuando me preguntan me cuesta entender lo que me están diciendo. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, ¿qué pregunta? Si yo le pregunto a usted, where does your sister work? Where does your sister work? ¿Dónde? Ajá. Where does your sister work? No. ¿Dónde trabaja su hermana? My sister is working in KFC. Ah, ok. So my, my sister works at a restaurant, right? KFC. Mm -hmm. at a re my sister works at a restaurant. Ok, because of the time, we need to come back. Ok, we need to come back to the main session. Okay, thank you for your participation in the activity. I know sometimes it's difficult, right? It's a little bit difficult, but we need to try. And when you have a question, you can ask for help to me. You can ask me for help or you can ask your classmates for help. Okay. Now let's continue with the topic. Um, the next topic is about adjectives. The order of adjectives or placement of adjectives. And again, we have another conversation. This is, that's exciting. Okay, I will read the conversation for you. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. 
Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, so in this conversation, they are describing their jobs. Stephanie is a teacher. And she says that the students are terrific. Terrific means they are awesome. They are great. No significa terrible. Terri terrible is terrible. But terrific means they are very nice. Okay. About the fireman, the firefighter, he says that it's a stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. But Stephanie thinks that it's exciting. So let's look. When we use adjectives, we can use a the bear to be. For example, a firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. El trabajo de un doctor es estresante. More examples. The students are terrific. Entonces aquí tenemos el verbo to be y luego el adjetivo. That's exciting. Otra vez, the verb to be, adjective. Sometimes it's dangerous. The bird to be, contractado en este caso, and the adjective, okay? Or on other examples would be, oh, I am happy. Mm, you are very responsible. My students are, are friendly, okay? My students are very intelligent and smart. So in that case, I'm using now, bear to be, an adjective. Now, bear to be, adjective. Now, the other, the other way is to say first the adjective and then the noun. Primero el adjetivo y después el sustantivo. Example, our firefighter has a dangerous job. Un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso. En este caso es diferente al español. En español siempre ponemos los adjetivos después del sustantivo. Por ejemplo, la casa blanca. El trabajo peligroso. Trabajo estresante. Pero en inglés, we use the adjective first. Usamos el adjetivo antes del sustantivo. A doctor has a stressful job. También lo que les decía, por ejemplo, la Casa Blanca en inglés sería the White House. Se puede escribir aquí en el chat. The White House. Si decimos el perro grande, the big dog. Other examples. El carro chivo, the nice car. Recordemos que los colores son adjetivos. Uh -huh. More examples. The black book. Can you repeat, Victoria? The black book. Ah, a black book. Okay, very nice. Another could be a slow bus, for example. Un bus bien lento, slow bus. A, a friendly person. Mm, a quiet person. Una persona callada. Or um, a cold afternoon. Una tarde fría. The little boy, okay. Black shoes. Cuando es plural, no usamos el artículo a or an, porque a or an es solo para una cosa. Entonces serían black shoes only. Or let's say. Mm, 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 mm. The brown cats. The intelligent students. In plural, right? The, the red 
process. Process, sorry, forget process. Mm, the pink dresses, los vestidos rosados, the pink dresses. Okay. Excellent. Now let's, go, let's look at more examples. Remember that an adjective is a word that describes something. El adjetivo es una palabra que describe, describe algo o alguien. The happy girl. Tenemos el adjetivo happy, the noun girl, the happy girl. También podemos decir the girl is happy. La niña o la, la niña o la chica está feliz. The girl is happy. Tenemos el noun, el verbo to be y el adjetivo. The girl is happy or the happy girl. ¿Ok? Y aquí tenemos más, more examples. Adjective plus noun. Being a police officer is a dangerous job. It's a very stressful job. Por ejemplo, being a teacher, it's a very stressful job. No, just kidding. Pupusas are a popular dish in our country. Pupusas are, porque es plural, pupusas. A popular dish. Son un plato, un plato popular en nuestro país. Pupusas are a popular dish in our country. Can we write some examples in the chat? En el que ponemos primero el adjetivo y después el noun. I have a little cat, for example. Pretty woman, okay. You can say, Victoria, I am a pretty woman. <laughs> Try to write. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, the blue pencil. Another one. I have a nice, I have a new cell phone. Tengo un teléfono nuevo. I have a new cell phone. Okay. You can say there are red flowers in my garden. Try to use there is, there are, or I have. Okay, there are big houses in my neighborhood. Hay casas grandes en mi vecindad, in my neighborhood. There are big houses in my neighborhood. Peter, yes. excuse me, translate to Spanish, being a police officer? Being a police officer. Being. Being, es como el verbo que en progresivo, ser, significa. Ser, ok, thank you. Oficial de policía, un ser policía es un trabajo. Es un trabajo peligroso, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, next, in the next uh, example, we have adjectives, more examples with adjectives before nouns. For example, the beautiful house, this is correct. But it's incorrect to say the house beautiful. Eso está incorrecto, the house beautiful. Or the car expensive, el carro caro. No, that's incorrect in English. We say the beautiful house has a big garden or the beautiful house has a lot of windows. The expensive car is very old. The expensive car is red. The expensive car is very big. Okay? Yes? So far so good? I hope so. So far, so good, Daniel. Jonathan says yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So far, so good. So 
now let's practice. We have another exercise, but uh, I think that we're going to do it together because I see, yeah, I think it's better to do it together. And you will tell me what is the correct adjective. Mm -hmm. She has Okay, she has long hair or hair long? Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. hair. Exactly. I am very tall or I am tall very? Very tall. tall. I am very tall. I am very tall. They are friends good or they are good friends? Good friend. Good friend. He is wearing his new shoes or he's wearing his shoes new? New shoes? New shoes. This is a tree big or this is a big tree? Big tree. Big tree. Big tree. Big tree. I am happy today. I am today happy. I am happy today. Happy today. Happy today. Happy today. They saw ugly three spiders, or they saw three ugly spiders. Ugly, ugly three. Three ugly. Three ugly. Three ugly. Okay. He's a woman, young, okay. young woman. Young woman. Young woman. Sam is seven old years or is seven years old? Two years old. Two years old. Sam is seven years old. It was a day sunny or it was a sunny day? Sunny day. Sunny day. Hey, excellent. You got 100% correct. Okay, let's go to the other exercise. Order of adjectives. So here we have to say, for example, uh, here, brown beautiful eyes or beautiful brown eyes? Beautiful brown eyes. 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 Beautiful brown eyes. A dirty old jumper or an old dirty jumper? Uh, or dirty jumper? Did you are? Did you? What an old dirty jumper. But the, here will be an old dirty jumper. A Nigerian fast athlete or a fast Nigerian athlete. <sighs> Fast Nigerian? Yes. <laughs> and the last, because of the time we finish with this one. A poisonous, horrible snake or a horrible poisonous snake? Poison. Horrible? Poison. Poison. No. Poisonous snake. A cold, long winter or a long, cold winter? Long cold. Long, long cold. Cold. Exactly. Well, because of the time, we're going to stop here with this exercise because it's 2 p.m. But in the class, we have, yeah, besides the practice was great. Now here we are going to do it together as a class because we don't have time to do it with a partner. But you can tell me what is, uh, uh, you can see here the examples. The food is delicious. He eats delicious food. You see, it's the same. The food is delicious. He eats delicious food. Delicious is after the bird to be, but delicious is before food. My house is big. I had a big house. My job is fantastic. I have a fantastic job. My husband is happy. I have a happy husband. The class is short. We have a short class. 
Okay, I will give you, I will write in the chat some uh, adjectives and tomorrow you will show me five sentences using the adjectives in the two forms. Van a usar, van a hacer oraciones con esos adjetivos que yo les voy a mandar. Ustedes eligen cinco adjetivos. Hacen or, cinco, or, bueno, en realidad van a hacer diez oraciones, ¿verdad? porque van a hacer cinco oraciones de una manera y cinco oraciones de la otra manera en que hemos aprendido que usamos los adjetivos, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí les voy con los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Boring, fast, short, no, lo voy a poner small. Boring, fast, small, pretty, old, interesting. Ok, vale, eso les voy a dejar. Es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Voy a poner dos más. Y ustedes, ustedes eh, eligen cinco. Wonderful. Weird, que significa extraño o raro. Y otro más, modern, moderno. Ok, so that's going to be the homework for tomorrow. Ok, can someone tell me what's the homework? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Cinco oraciones de, de los objetivos que hemos aprendido ahora, cómo se utilizan cinco de cada forma. Exacto. Ok, and what did we learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy en clase? A ver. Adjective. Ok. Adjectives, order, or placement of adjectives. ¿Cómo utilizarlos en oraciones? Y también repasamos las preguntas. Veo que con las preguntas de información todavía tenemos un poquito de dudas, ¿verdad? Pero acuérdense cuál es la fórmula. Primero, es igual que las yes, no questions, solo que le agregamos la pregunta, la the question word. Por ejemplo, w, es, la fórmula es WH plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement if it's necessary. En question mark. That's it. Y ahí les voy a poner un ejemplo. Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? When do you eh, do exercise? ¿Cuándo haces ejercicio? How many, how many brothers do you have? Those are examples. Why? Why do you have a pet? ¿Por qué tienes una mascota? Why do you have a pet? Hmm? What color do you like? ¿Qué color te gusta? Yeah. What color do you like? Eh, mm, 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 mm. Otra que se me está quedando. Who do you live with? Who do you live with? ¿Con quién vives? So those are examples of questions, WH questions. Vamos a ver si encuentro un ejercicio para enviarles donde puedan practicar un poco más las preguntas. ¿verdad? No sé si tienen algún comentario o pregunta con respecto a esto. Hable hoy o calle para siempre. No, no hay preguntas. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, class. Tomorrow we are going to have a very nice class because the topic will be about food. And students and me love talking about food. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to learn vocabulary about food and how okay, to that are with food. Okay. So okay. hope to see you tomorrow. Have a nice afternoon. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Take care. You too. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.